Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Before I start my closing remark, I would like to express my sincere thanks to organizing committee members and the chairman, Len, and then uh, Sergeant at Arms, all staff members, senior leaders, for their <clears throat> who worked very hard to make this special occasion possible. Thank you again. I hope that each of you can now look back on an enjoyable and productive And I hope that each one of you will live here with new information and knowledge to help you make dreams real through building Rotary membership. Because we will not be able to make dreams real without bringing new members. Every Rotarian that we bring into our club will help to make dreams real. And when we look for new members, we must remember that each new member might be one more life saved. It is natural to want to invite people into our clubs who are like ourselves. We want the people in our clubs to be our friends. It is easier to become friends with people with whom we have a great deal in common. And so, we are more inclined to invite people who are of the same age, the same background, perhaps even the same profession. This is not the way to a strong and vibrant Rotary Club. Too often, clubs are composed of people who are at or past the age of retirement. While the members in that club may feel more comfortable inviting in new members of the same age. This is not a club that will survive for long. Mm -hmm. When we talk about the family of Rotary, we understand that Rotary need to build our younger generation to take over for the old. If we do not bring in younger members, we'll miss out on a great deal of energy and expertise. And we will not be training a new generation of members to become club president, tertiary governors, and senior RI leaders in the years to come. All of us must understand that the strongest club, Rotary Club, is one that is diverse, as I mentioned earlier. It has members of different ages, both men and women. It has members of many different vocations and professions. It has members with different skills and talent. Our Rotary Club composed of members who are all the same age and all work in the same few fields is one that is limited. It is less able to conduct ambitious projects and has a narrow range of resources on which to draw. And so, I ask each of you to expand where you look for new members. There are many qualified professions, professionals, who may simply be overlooked because 
their professions are not typical for Rotary members. Remember, especially the importance of maintaining contact with alumni of Rotary and foundation programs. If a young person has been a participant of a Rotary Youth Exchange or has spent a year as an ambassadorial scholar, then we already know that he or she has many of the most important qualifications for memberships. And every Rotary Club should be sponsoring a Rotaract or an Interact Club. We must all remember that these programs were designed to teach young people the joys and satis satisfactions of Rotary service. A good Rotaract or an Interact Club will create future Rotarians. And so, not only should every Rotary Club sponsor a uh, Rotary or Interact Club, but we should also maintain contact with these members to ensure that when it, when it is time, they are invited to become Rotarians themselves. Membership is not the responsibility of all of us. Instead, it is the responsibility of each of us. Every one of us has an obligation to Rotary. We have an obligation to our clubs and to the Rotarians of previous generations. Our obligation is to keep Rotary strong, active, and growing. If we hope to make dreams real for the world children in this year and in all the years to come, we must build a new generation of Rotarians to continue our work. It is a very great responsibility. This year, it will begin with each of you. Thank you.